hi everyone welcome back to simple things before i get into this video today i just want to shout out all my super chatters i want to shout out my three members so far foreign ttv starter media and inga stv yes she's a content creator so run over to inga stv and go subscribe to her channel i also want to say that if you love positivity upliftment and the empowerment of others feel free to subscribe to my channel and please join my membership so that you can help to sponsor one of my many outreach projects i also want to big up the lovely people global united outreach limited run go follow them on instagram right now Perhaps the most profound visit we've ever had with my daughter's pediatrician was the first time she developed a fever and we took her to see him. The wait was long, I mean long, and being new parents, the apprehension was that this poor baby was going to roast to death right there in the office before we got a chance to see the pediatrician. After what seemed like an eternity and a day, the medical office assistant finally called my baby's name. We went into the doctor's office and explained the symptoms as best we could. He asked us whether we were doing anything to reduce the fever. So being an advocate for hydrotherapy, I told him how we had been doing hot and cold bath. Dr. Robinson listened keenly and then explained to us that the symptoms are merely an indication of the root cause. So the danger is in treating the symptoms while ignoring the root cause. When the fever was an indication that there was something going on in our body. Wait, wait what? You mean we shouldn't have been doing anything to ease the muscle pain? rehydrate the poor baby reduce the temperature ease the chill be carefully warned you could be treating the symptoms and after the fever goes away totally ignoring the root cause of the fever itself he went on to explain to us that a fever is merely an indication that there is something serious going on in our body that needs urgent attention. Okay, great lesson learned that would never be forgotten in life. Recent years have shown us that profound lesson in so many ways. 2020 in particular has shown us this in neon signs how much society tends to merely treat the symptoms of life's greatest curse, sin. Listen up. At the root cause of all the things we see played out in society in front of our very eyes day by day isn't partisan politics or racism or intolerance or crime or classism or ethnic cleansing or whatever. At the root of one human being kneeling on the chest of another human being as he gasps for his last breath. At the root of one party refusing to provide enough funding for a particular state because it's red or blue. At the root of one set of people in a particular region literally burning out another set. At the root of a grown man raping a six month old. At the root of someone putting a knife to the throat of a lady he just slept with the night before. At the root of millions dying from a common virus. At the root of all this and more is the greatest three-letter word. S-I-N. You don't believe me? Consider the many accounts in scripture of Jesus healing someone. And instead of saying, be thou healed, he says, thy sins are forgiven thee take the account in matthew 9 of jesus healing the man who had palsy when jesus saw the faith of those who had brought the man to him he said son be of good cheer thy sins are forgiven thee after that when jesus was accused of blasphemy jesus asked his accusers which is easier to say thy sins be forgiven thee or to say arise and walk 
You see, Jesus was trying to show them that all suffering is a result of the existence of sin. So is it my sin why I caught a particular disease? Is it that boy's sin why he was shot and killed by someone who is paid by taxpayers' money to protect and serve him? No, it is not because of an individual's sin. But in fact, because sin exists and sin breeds hate, diseases, crime, degeneration, death, etc., etc. So let's just stop for a minute and think. By protesting and rioting and arguing and debating and holding conferences and meetings and... Have we really gotten to the root cause of all that's wrong with society? Have we been treating the chills and aches, thereby reducing the fever of hate while ignoring the root cause of hate itself? Sin. <laughs> this is Denise and that's your daily dose.